Welcome, welcome back to another episode of the West Former Shopping Road to Gold series. This episode 21, and we are going to start off the episode against Aston Villa. As we get a 2-1 victory for Brady and Ghana and Dominic Carver Lewin scores the goal. As we get into the January transfer window, Edwards is going to go on loan to Newcastle United and Windor is going to leave us. As we're going to play against QPR in the FA Cup third round, let's see the result. We get a 1-1 draw from Lopehitu side to get the equal side in the 79th minute. And there it is, the Carabao Cup semi-final. In, la in the last season, we lost to Leicester City in the exact same round. And let's see if this season we can finally beat them. And yeah, let's get into the game and get the challenge. And one thing I found it very stupid is Mateusz Pereira's rating gone down because of the injury. He's only 25 years old and I don't know what's happened, but it is what it is. Let's get into the game, see how we do and hopefully we get a good result in the first leg. It's Leicester City up against West Bromwich Albion. Well, I was more a fan of a single leg semi-final, but two legs, you've got... Well, that's a foul, and it sets up a free kick in a dangerous position. And a goal! The opener in the semi-final! First goal of the contest! Well, as we see it again here, Derek, starting it more central and... Be Azzy Natch. This could square the game, but the key... Perez, big chance. Well, a bat. Perez, is this the moment? Good defending to prevent the chance. Well, there might well be scope for them to counter attack here. Do they have the guile to open up the defense? If you're wondering about stoppage time, one minute to be added on. Useful looking ball. Now, will they do it from here? Oh, a moment of pure class! Had to catch it perfectly, and didn't he just? Well, here's the replay. It's a really dangerous ball into the penalty area, and bang, he doesn't need a second invitation. Beautiful strike to finish. Indeedy. A really single-minded piece of defending. Newspapers and on social media, Angel Correa has completed his move to PSG. Well, Derek, I've heard the... Well, no stopping him. And a goal! In the lead again! Fully deserved! A chance to whip it in. Tielemans. And it might be... Well, make sure you join us for more Premier League action coming your way. Oh, big chance! Oh, that was a terrific stop in a one versus one situation. Oh. Team. The fourth official has indicated it's opening up for them. In two minutes of team. And Jose Perez with it. Perez. Pressure exerted, but he keeps the ball. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. And that's going to be all for this evening and for this first leg. A night of success for the home fans. No wonder they have big smiles on them. I mean, a 3 1 defeat isn't really good, isn't it? Our defense is very stupid in this game. I mean, at the time I'm recording this, I'm actually very angry with Tomori and Ben White, and I actually put them on the transfer list. And there's the offer here, when I record, I actually delegate it because I actually want him to leave because he's too terrible and freaking Tomori actually said to me that he said he's good on form and don't want to sit on the bench against Southampton What's he talking about? But I'm gonna still play him because he's a higher rated centre back and we're going to get into the game against Southampton and let's see if we get the victory and yeah, let's get into the game Calvert Lewin. The defender doing his job. Can they get themselves in front here? Well, body in the way. Space for the cross. 
I understand there's been a goal in the Derby County game. Alan McAnally. It's a goal from Derby County. It's been scored by Anthony Modeste. The keeper had come out for a cross and failed to catch it, leaving an easy finish. Seven minutes played, 1-0. Regular updates from... A and the goal. goal from Manchester United. It's been scored. Chances on. And a goal! Now they have their opener, and now they can celebrate. Well, here's the replay, and as we can see, the defence can't cope with the through ball. And when he gets through to the keeper, he just smashes it past him and gives him no chance to think. On. And that pass could be troublesome. Well, he saw the whites of the keeper's eyes and the whites of his outstretched gloves. Great goalkeeping. Well, he's denied a certain goal there. Great reflexes from the keeper. That could be his final rebuke, I think, and the referee's making that absolutely clear. Well, I like that, Derek. Good refereeing. Nice and strong. Told the player exactly what he was thinking. A goal it is! A confidently taken penalty! Well, here's the replay, and he looked a bit nervous running up to take it, but fair play to him. Right in the corner. Nerves of steel. So 2-0 now. High pressing at its best. He must finish. Well, good technique in terms of facing forward, trying to catch them out. He's in behind. And still an opportunity. Crucial intervention just then amid him. Jay Adams. Well, let's see if something comes of this. The referee's letting it go as they keep the ball and making sure nothing untoward happened following the cross. The referee has deemed that to be a bookable offence. Absolutely. Agree with that one. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. Oh, what an exquisite goal! Absolute perfection! Once upon a time, the officials would have to make a best guess. Don't forget, we have more live action from the Premier League coming up here on EA TV. It's Southampton. Well, the ref will hear the crowd all right. We can hear him from here. He's taking some stick. Is this the moment? And it's gone in. The team's separated by two goals now. You cannot say they don't deserve it. Well, as we see from the replay, it's a classic pullback cross that sets up the chance. And a 2v1 is never fair. To be honest with you, the keeper's got no chance to stop. Could pull one back here, which he does. And maybe, just maybe, there's enough time for an equaliser. And so the referee blows for full time and it goes down as a victory for the visitors. Lee, what did you make of it? You know what guys, we still can see two in this game, but I think our defence did very well. And that's pretty good, I really can't say anything that's so good from James Robhouse is a very good free taker. And I should put Fakhtama on the line earlier, but yeah, that is a very good free kick. And actually tomorrow and Ben White and other defenders did very well and I'm actually going to remove them from the transfer list. I'm going to give half more seasons to them and see how they perform and yeah overall a great performance against Southampton as we're going to simulate the game against Crystal Palace which should get a 2-1 victory. But one thing I think is a bit weird is we're going to face against Tottenham Hospital next in the FA Cup and I found I found out that we I actually missed out a footage, I don't know where I put it there, but we actually beat, I believe we beat West Ham and we also beat QP out in a replay. So yeah, it's my bad, so sorry about that, but 
we go through against QPR and we are going to face against Tottenham Hotspur next in the 4th round of the FA Cup, see how it goes and hopefully you can get a victory. Let's get into the game. And actually, I'm going to commentate this because why not? I'm going to commentate one game or two every episode starting from now. I think that's the best thing to do. And yeah, hopefully you guys enjoy my commentating. Let's look at the corner here. Hideo Tamasaki cross it into the box, but Hugo Lloris punches it away. And Ben White threw past the ball to Dominic Calvert-Lewin, but it is blocked by the defender. And Sam Chosun want to pass the ball upfield, but he messed that up. And Musa Sissoko blocks it and he get a quick 1-2 with Dele Ali, but the ball is blocked by Ben White. A great performance from Ben White in the first 24th minute and Kanasinech actually outrun Lamela and get the full pass to Greedy Diangana. What can we do in the counter? He cuts it back to Dominic Alfred Lewin, but he messed that up. As Hideo Tamasaki in the 38th minute crossed the ball in and the defender has the ball back to Hugo Lloris. A very comfortable save from the Frenchman. Is this a free kick for Tottenham? Tolali has the ball back to Musa Sissoko unfortunately, but Musa Sissoko messed that attempt. Is Eric Namela passed the ball to Harry King, shrug blocked by Ben White. Stephen Bergwijn gets the ball. What can he do here? A great tackles from Fakhnaman and what can Harvey White do here against Ben White? He crosses the ball in and Nobuhito Saito gets the ball away. And we have a counter here, Sandro Tulali full past the ball to Dominic Kavalu, what can Dominic do? And he crossed the ball in a terrible cross, but Tamasaki actually get the shot off. And Hurricane dribbles the ball infield and a comfortable save from Sam Johnstone. As we get a counter here, Diangana passed the ball to Tulali, and we get a quick one here, and we scored. The footage is gone for some reason. I really don't know how to commentate this, but a great goal from Callum Robinson. Let's see the replay here. A full cross to, I believe it's to Mori, to Calvert Lewin, and he gets the goal. And I mean, a great shot against Tigger Lloris, and we actually get our first clean sheet of the season played by me. Despite I didn't play 90 minutes, I think this is a good way to start to get. Zero goals conceded by our opposition, and yeah, hopefully you guys yeah, enjoyed this episode. Be able to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't. Comment down below who you want me to sign, possibly in the next season transfer window, as I already pre-recorded this season's transfer window. As we're going to face against Leicester City in the second leg of the Carabao Cup, can we overcome our three-one defeat? last time out and we're gonna see that in the next episode bye bye